Okay, in today's video, I'm addressing a comment that I got, a question someone asked, can you do leg extensions on a cable machine like this? Uh, or the SF3 Inspire, if that's the one you have, which is what I have here. And I think I responded, I don't think so, but I'll look into it, because I haven't done them. So I been playing around with it a little bit and realized, yes, you can do leg extensions on here. It's not the most ideal way to do leg extensions, but if you don't have any other option, it definitely can be done. So unless you have an actual bench that has say, like the leg extension pads that it's built into your bench, say you don't have that, you just have a regular bench like I do, which came with the SF3, you're gonna need yourself some leg straps, which this machine came with one, I suggest going on and buying some, going to the store. Um, these were, I think, like $10. I have a link down in the description if you want to pick these up or any brand that you find on Amazon will work. That way you don't have to, like, every time you switch, work a different leg, you don't have to unvelcro and put a new one on. It's easier just to have two. It goes so much faster. So you're going to need these. Hook, you know, wrap these around your legs, each one. A, I have my cable, my Inspire SF3, all the way down at the lowest setting. So on setting one, I back my bench all the way up to the machine. So I have my backrest all the way up as straight as I can get it. Then you have two options. You can either, because the cable's way back here, you're gonna be sitting over here. So you can either strap in back there and depending on how much weight you're gonna have, then walk yourself around and sit down on the bench. Doing a lighter weight, that might be easy for you, but if you're doing a heavier weight, I mean, now you're dragging it, you know, walking with that, you know, it could lead to unforeseen injuries. So the easiest way that I've seen, especially if you have this bench that came with the Inspire SF3, it has a handle down here. You can pull that cable out by your hand, clip it in so that it's sitting there. It's already, you already have the cable out. Now you just sit down, unhook the cable from the bench and clip into your, uh, your leg strap. So now you don't have to drag the cable there. And then when you're done, you just unhook that from your leg. You can clamp it back into your bench so you can stand up. And then obviously you're probably gonna, you're gonna wanna move it around to the other side. So you'd have to unhook it, move the cable around, rehook it on the other side. So as you can see, this can be done for leg extensions. It's, like I said, it's not the most ideal thing. You, there's things you have to play around with, but if you wanna do it, obviously you can. Now, doing the leg extensions themselves, again, it would probably be better with an actual bench that had the pads that you could clip into. I don't know if you could, depends on how that bench is, how that would work. I don't have it. But doing it here, obviously, with the leg straps, it can be done. Again, not the most ideal, not the most comfortable way to do leg extensions, but... It works and it's something I'm probably gonna start doing to my on my leg days. It's just another thing I can do. Probably won't do the heaviest weight. I haven't played around with that yet to see how comfortable that is, but at least doing a lighter weight, maybe higher reps. So I'm still going to failure. I'm just doing lighter weight, more reps. I think this will work. So there it is. You can definitely do a form of leg extensions on here. If you have the Inspire SF3, I'm sure any cable machine, you have a bench. Now, as far as pulling the cable out and being able to clamp it in, you'd have to look, if you don't have this machine and this bench, look at your whatever bench you have, see if there's a way to clamp a cable in. That way you don't have to strap in and walk around with the weight and drag it out there. But if that's your only option, obviously you could probably do that too. So there might be an easier way to do this that you may have already figured out, definitely leave it down in the comments. If there's any other workouts, uh, routines or things that you have questions on these machines, whether it's whatever cable machine or then Inspire SF3, leave it down there. I'll try to figure it out and do a video for you. So you haven't seen how to do leg presses on this machine, definitely check out that video. Subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you in the next video.